If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to see how you can run API performance testing in Postman. I know it's been very long due a feature in Postman for performance testing. So finally, Postman team uh, fulfilled the uh, long uh, due requests. So now you can do your performance testing in Postman itself. So to try this feature, all you need is Postman Canary version. Just go to postman.com slash downloads slash canary and download uh, for Mac or Windows or Linux. So in this video, we are going to see Postman Canary for Windows and how you can perform a simple performance testing. And we are going to see how to execute, how to design the workload model and how to uh, read the results. Okay, now let's uh, head to Postman. So once you launch the Postman, all you need is to sign in. And once you sign in, uh, first step is to create the workspace. So this video, I'm not going to cover the uh, basics of Postman. So directly, we are going to uh, perform the performance testing. So in the left side, as you see, uh, there are collections. So here, I already created some Postman performer, some uh, demo uh, collection. So now let us go to the uh, create collection process. So just click on the plus icon and give some name. So in this case, let us say uh, performance uh, testing. Dead cough cards. So we are going to uh, test the API performance of uh, Dead cough cards uh, APIs. So once you're done with your uh, creating collection, the next step is you have to just right click, and just expand, uh, or click on this uh, three dots, and click on Add Request. So here we are going to create uh, two requests of a Dead cough cards API, and then uh, we are going to run a test. So in this example also, we are going to see how you can read the response and store it in the variable and then pass that response in the next request, basically a correlation process. So to get the deck of cards API, just go to deck of cards api.com. So first we are going to copy the first API, just copy this and go to Postman and just paste it here and click on send. So now as you see at the bottom, uh, you will get the uh, success true and you will get the deck ID remaining 52 and the shuffled uh, tag is true. So here let me just uh, rename this to T00 underscore uh, deck of cards. Right. So now let us capture the deck ID using the uh, tests. So just to go to tests and here we are going to write a simple uh, JavaScript. So first we are going to define a variable, say uh, JSON uh, response equals PM dot response dot JSON. So we are going to capture the uh, complete response, uh, the JSON response and store it in the variable JSON resp. So now we are going to extract the deck ID from the JSON response. So for that, we are going to store the deck ID into a variable, an environment variable, pm.environment.set. So here I'm going to name this as deck underscore ID, comma, JSON uh, resp dot deck ID. So basically, this is the uh, key of the uh, response. So deck underscore ID. So what this will do is, it will just uh, extract the uh, deck ID and then it will uh, store it in the variable deck underscore ID. So now let me save this. So now we are going to create a, another uh, request. So next request is we are going to draw the cards, right? So T10 underscore draw cards. Now head to the uh, deck of cards uh, API and uh, go to the second API, just click on copy and paste it here. So here, if you see in the URL, we need to pass the deck underscore ID. So this deck underscore ID, we already got it and we already stored it in the previous request. So I'm going to use it. So you have to use double curly braces and the variable name. So in this case, it should be a deck underscore ID. So now if you hit send, it is displaying a value is not found. Basically, we executed only this particular request, not the the first one, T00. So you have to run together. So to test this, what we can do, just uh, click on this and click on run 
collection. So now it will uh, bring this particular uh, runner page, right? So before that, let me just quickly uh, save this and go to the runner page. And in the right side, there are two tabs, functional and performance. Of course, this video is about performance, right? So let us focus on the performance tab. So here you can uh, set up your performance test and typical uh, workload modeling uh, UI. You have to specify the virtual users here. You have to specify the uh, test duration and the load profile. So right now it supports only two load profiles, fixed and ramp up. And uh, the right side, it will display the uh, mini chart. Before uh, we start modeling and uh, running it, first let us uh, functionally verify whether these two API calls are successful or not. So I'm just, uh, I'm just going to hit uh, run performance testing uh, the collection. And here, as you see, uh, everything is uh, perfect. Uh, green, no errors. So if you just click on the iteration one, you can see the response. Basically, uh, response is not persisted by default. Uh, you may need to choose the persist response from the run configuration. So let's just let me open this particular run configuration. And let me uh, make sure you check this box, persist response for a session, and click run again. So now just uh, go to the first uh, T00 uh, API call. And here, uh, as you see, the response is uh, true, and deck ID is uh, some random uh, deck ID. Now, if you go to the second request, draw cards, you should see this particular deck ID. So now let me just go to this particular response. And as you see, the response has the, the first res uh, response, basically the deck ID of the first request. And this is what we have been uh, sending in the second request. And this is what we are getting in the response. So basically our particular uh, extraction is working fine. Uh, and these two APIs are uh, fine. Smoke test is pass. So now it's time to uh, performance test these particular two APIs, right? So just again, go to the uh, runner or you can just go to uh, the menu and click on uh, run collection and uh, uh, click on uh, performance. So here, this is the public website. I don't want to you know push uh, 20 uh, virtual users, right? That would be insane. So let us go with uh, say uh, two virtual users and uh, duration could be uh, say one minute and I'm going to use the uh, fixed uh, load profile. Now, uh, let me hit run. So before hitting the run button, I would like to share a couple of uh, important tips. So the maximum virtual users you can test is 200. You cannot go beyond 200. So that's the limitation as of now. So now if you enter, say, uh, 2000, right? And if you just click anywhere out, it will display uh, this error message. We can simulate up to 200 virtual users only. But minutes, you can just uh, go how many minutes you want. I don't see any limitation in the lim uh, minutes uh, variable here. Okay, now let us uh, start the performance testing. So once you start your performance testing, it will, uh, you know, it will just warm up and then it will display the uh, graphical uh, view. So at the top, as you see, it will display the performance test uh, run ID and the collection name and uh, how many I started. I think I started uh, 200, I guess. So let me just uh, stop this, you know, uh, let me close this. Let me start our work. Performance, let us go with uh, two and one minute and run. So now, uh, as you see, the performance testing number two will start now and it will display the uh, graphical representation. So in the Y axis here, the error rate and uh, here Z axis uh, response time and X axis is the uh, time. And this particular chart has a legend at the bottom, as you see, virtual users, uh, requests, uh, average response, Error rate. So these are toggles. Basically, you can uh, on and off. And uh, at the top right, you can see the uh, average response time. So this is the default uh, filter. But you can go uh, with 99, 95, 90, minimum, maximum. And you can also filter by the transaction name. And at the header, it will display the uh, typical uh, metrics, you know, request sent, total number of requests sent, uh, requests per second, average response time and error rate. Typical UI, whatever 
we need to analyze the performance everything is in here that's the basic stuff right it will not display standard deviation or uh, you know advanced uh, statistics so it will not display anything as of now under the bottom you have the table view so table view again you can sort uh, and then you can uh, click to go back to your uh, you know test so now just let me just go back here and uh, one important thing is if you hover your mouse over the chart uh, you can see the vertical line so basically you can click on any point in time so once you click on a particular point the table will change so basically it will display at that particular point in time what is the statistics so that is one of the minute uh, feature uh, you would miss when you try the, for the first time but this feature is very uh, you know important and if you want to reset this so I, again there is no way to reset and there is no uh, way to uh, uh, zoom in and zoom out here so this chart is not much interactive uh, all you need is you need to just select and uh, click on reset so this is what you can go back to the previous state okay now uh, what we can do let us uh, hit the uh, run again button again so now what it will do it will uh, display this page okay in this uh, run let's go with ramp up one minute and uh, click on run so basically you can view all the runs uh, run one two three everything in one snapshot so let us uh, see uh, once this test is done so now the uh, test run uh, three is uh, done so now let us view all the results so basically run one run two and run three so to view that just double click on your collection it will take you to the uh, this particular page and here click on runs so here it will display the past run schedule run uh, performance runs so just uh, click on the performance runs and here you can see run one two and three so basically run one is uh, you know we stopped in between uh, because of the high number of virtual users but here you can uh, see the uh, run two and run three so here you can just uh, navigate and also there is one more place uh, you can see the uh, list of runs and if you go to past runs also here also you can see the uh, last 100 runs and basically if you want to delete something you know just uh, check this box and uh, click on delete or uh, if you want to uh, see the uh, report just uh, click on view report on the particular row and it will take you to the particular uh, results and if you want to see uh, the view all runs here also you can see view all runs and it will take you to this page and here you can uh, click on the uh, share button to uh, share the uh, report or the run with your uh, teammates so this is the uh, first look of how to do performance testing uh, in uh, postman so as of now uh, i don't think you can automate uh, this particular execution uh, you need to integrate manually automation is available only for functional testing uh, using the cli uh, so performance testing uh, i think uh, in future definitely they will be releasing the uh, cli mode of execution and of course they must uh, you know increase the uh, the virtual users the count and distributed load testing there's a lot of features are uh, missing uh, i hope uh, it will be on the way in the upcoming releases so stay tuned and whenever new features are coming up definitely i will uh, post it in my channel so please subscribe to qa insights thank you if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel